Hi boys and girls, my name is Sarah Farrell and I'm an art teacher at Jarrettown Elementary School, which is outside of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Now one of the things the kids in my classes love to do is um, take a whole stack of papers and staple them together to make their own little book for them to draw or color. The thing with that is that um, it uses up a lot of our paper and not everybody has a stapler at home that they're allowed to use to attach it all together. So what I'm gonna show you to do today is how to make a little book like this, okay? And this book, um, not only is it really easy and quick to put together, but it doesn't require any staples, it doesn't use any tape or any glue um, to create it. Now, for your project, all you're gonna need is a sheet of paper. Now, I think the best type of paper to use for this is just regular computer paper because it's the easiest to fold because um, we're gonna have to fold it a couple different times. But you can really use anything. You can use line paper or color paper. You can use big paper for a bigger book, smaller paper for a smaller book. It doesn't really matter. The other thing that you're gonna need is um, just a pair of scissors and that's it. So let's get started. I'm gonna start by holding my paper horizontally and then folding together the two short sides of the paper. I'm gonna take my time because it's important to try and match up the corners the best that I can and I'm gonna run my finger along the fold to make sure that I get a nice sharp crease. Then I'm gonna turn the paper over to the other side and refold it the opposite direction. Again, I'm gonna run my finger along the fold to make sure I have a nice sharp crease. Then we're gonna fold it again in the same direction to give us this long skinny rectangle shape. It's gonna get a little harder to fold now, so I wanna make sure I'm gonna run my finger along the new fold once again to make it nice and sharp. And again, we're gonna turn the paper over and fold it the same way, but in the opposite direction. Now this last fold is gonna be the most difficult because we're trying to bend so many layers of the paper. So I really wanna take my time and try and get the corners as close together as I can. And I'm also going to make sure I press down on that folded edge to make it nice and sharp. So now when I open the paper up, you're gonna see that we've created eight different rectangles with the folds in the paper. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now what we're gonna do is cut right here along this center fold. Um, for your first couple books, I recommend drawing over the fold with like a colored pencil or a marker just to make it a little bit easier for you to see where to start and where to stop. Once you get a little bit more comfortable with making books, um, you can just like skip over that part, it won't matter. So here's my folded part at the top, and then we're gonna take the scissors and cut right on that red line that I just drew, stopping just before we get to that other folded line right there. So when I open the paper back up, you're gonna see that slit that we just cut in the center, and that's gonna be important for giving us the right shape for our book. So I'm gonna fold it back in half like this, and then slowly push my hands together to open up that shape in the middle. We're looking to make a diamond shape in the center of the paper, um, which eventually is gonna get pushed together almost into like an X shape. So you push your hands together and you're looking for that diamond that you press together and then fold everything to give you your little book. I'm gonna open this back up one more time and show you again in case you missed it. So take our paper, fold it in half, and then press your hands together to make that diamond, and then smush it down into the shape of your little book. Ta-da! Now you're ready to start drawing or writing or doing whatever you want inside the pages of your newly made little book. So now that you know the steps on how to create your own little book, I guarantee that you're gonna be making and taking these little guys everywhere you go. Now some of the things that the kids in my class like to do is use little comic books. They're always creating their own little characters and their adventures and the stories that go along with them. Uh, another way that you could use a book like this is almost like a, a visual journal. This is one that I made with my four-year-old daughter on a recent vacation that we took to the beach where we um, use the pages to draw the different things that we were doing on our vacation. So the possibilities are really endless and you can take and make as many as you want. All right, so I hope you enjoyed making a little book with me and until next time, this is Sarah Farrell saying goodbye and happy art making.